Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a pretty unique Linux distribution called Void Linux. If you're interested in Linux, you've probably heard of the big names like Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, and Arch. But there are so many other interesting distros out there that are definitely worth checking out. So, um, let's dive into what Void Linux is and what makes it stand out from the crowd. Alright, so first off, what is Void Linux? Void Linux is a distribution that uh, focuses on being free and open source while also being like really trim and lightweight. The idea behind Void is to keep things simple and um, avoid unnecessary bloat. Essentially, Void aims to cut the fat as much as possible while still giving you a modern Linux experience. That's actually why it's called Void. It's all about simplicity and efficiency. Now in practice, Void Linux is similar to a lot of other distros you might already know, like Ubuntu, Fedora, Mint, or Arch. You can use Void to install desktop environments, manage files, browse the web, and do all those typical computing tasks like writing emails, coding, creating documents, editing photos, and so on. But um, what sets Void apart is its focus on lightweight software. Void Linux opts for lightweight desktop environments like XFCE4, which is um, really great for keeping things fast and responsive. But what really makes Void different? Well, first of all, Void is an independent Linux distro. This means it's not based on another existing distribution, unlike Ubuntu, which is based on Debian, for example. Because it's independent, Void has its own unique package manager called the X Binary Package System, or XBPS. XBPS is the tool that Void uses to install, update, and remove software. It's designed to be lightweight and efficient, so um, it's really quick at handling packages compared to some other managers out there. Another key difference is Void's init system. Most Linux distros use systemd to initialize programs and services when the OS boots up, but Void uses something called Runit. Runit is significantly smaller in scope and size, which means Void boots up really quickly and uses fewer computing resources than distros like Ubuntu or Fedora. And, um, Void is also known for being a stable rolling release. This means it tries to balance between having the latest software and maintaining stability. Unlike Arch, which always uses the latest software, bugs and all, or Debian, which releases major updates every few years, Void updates frequently with tested and stable versions. So, you get up-to-date software without most of the pitfalls of a true rolling release. So, why should you use Void Linux? Well, if you're looking for a distro that focuses on lightweight software without sacrificing the features of modern Linux distros, Void is a great choice. It ships with lighter software like Runit and the XFC4 desktop environment, which um both focus on efficiency over features. This makes Void a good option for older machines too, because it's so lightweight, boot times are faster, and system overhead is much lighter. And if you're looking for a unique Linux experience that's different from the usual Debian, Arch, or Fedora-based distributions, Void is definitely worth a try. It has a bit of um clout in the Linux community because it's not as common, and it's not as labor-intensive to install as something like Arch. Void is kind of like a middle-tier distro that requires a bit more know-how than Ubuntu, but without the steep learning curve of Arch or Gentoo. It's a great way to learn more about how Linux works behind the scenes. Of course, there are some drawbacks to Void. Its repository might not include some applications that you'll find in the more popular distros. This can often be worked around by building apps from source or using Git, but these are extra steps that you wouldn't need with a distro that has a more expansive repository. And, um, because Void isn't as popular, it can be more difficult to find help for resolving certain issues. Stack Overflow and Reddit aren't exactly full of posts about Void Linux, although it is growing in popularity. Also, I kind of like running a less used distro for both the challenge and the sense of accomplishment. There's something cool about using a distro that not everyone is familiar with, you know? So, to wrap things up, Void Linux is a unique and lightweight distribution that's perfect if you're looking for something efficient and different from the mainstream options. Whether you're using an older machine or just want to try out something new, Void Linux is definitely worth a look.
Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. Let me know in the comments if you've tried Void Linux or if you're planning to give it a shot. See you in the next video.